Hello, hello, welcome to section 2.2, the double spend, the most devilish difficulty in all of crypto, and the reason why we need consensus protocols in the first place. So let's jump right in. Now, remember, each one of our nodes on the network is running their own payment processor software, and they're all going to be holding on to balances, and they're all going to be holding on to nonces independently of one another. Now, each one of these nodes are going to start with an initial state this is just set you know everyone gets a hundred coins for instance and you know and uh, zero knots and so right now everyone has the same state as as you might imagine right they all have a hundred and so what does that mean well all honest nodes are in agreement and so we have consensus right where we're, we all agree that everyone's balance is 100 and an honest node is just defined by a node that is trying to follow the protocol and will follow the protocol at all costs now Jing turns out to be a killer musician and Alice wants to buy one of Jing's songs and so what will Alice do well Alice is going to sign a transaction that sends Jing a hundred coins and removes a hundred coins from from Alice's balance and so we you know decrement the balance increment the nonce and by the way I'm going to skip over the nonces for now but don't forget them because they're important um, and then Alice is going to send the transaction to Jing Jing will add that transaction to her history and you know update the balances on her end now Jing will return with the music and Alice will listen and jam out, you know. And so if we look at the total balances of all of these nodes, we'll notice that these top two, they still have balances 100 for everyone because they haven't received any messages. But then Alice and Jing are going to have these updated balances. And so unfortunately, we are out of consensus, right? Honest nodes disagree about the current state. So we need to find some way to reconcile this. Well, what's one broken solution? That's propagate all transactions and cross our fingers, hope for the best. So let's try that. So Jing is going to propagate this transaction that she received to all of the honest nodes she knows, and they will apply it to their state and will once again, bump, 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 we will have consensus. Great. We're back in agreement. Everything is fine and dandy. Wait. Uh, what's that? Dun, dun, dun. It's Mallory, and Mallory has an evil idea. Mallory is going to supplant Carl. Very sad. And now Mallory gets an evil idea. Mallory is going to try to buy a movie as well as buy a song, but both of the prices for those is 100. And so what does that mean? Mallory is going to try to spend 200 coins, but you'll notice that Mallory's balance is only 100, and of course 200 is greater than 100, and so... So what Mallory is going to do is Mallory is going to double spend. So how does this actually work? Well, Mallory is going to generate these two transactions and then send them to the right recipients. We've got our, our handy dandy timeline once again. So. Uh, Alice has received her transaction and Jing has received her transaction and we'll note that both of those histories are not the same, right? They received different transactions. This one was sending to Alice. This one is sending to Jing. So Alice is going to update her balances by subtracting 100 coins from Mallory and adding 100 coins to Alice. And Jing is going to update her balances by subtracting 100 coins from Mallory and adding 100 coins to Jing's balance. So notice that now we are back out of sync. Uh-oh, trouble is brewing. This is already a double spend. So Alice and Jing, unsuspecting, send the movie and the song and bump bum. Unfortunately, Mallory has already won at this point. She received both the music and the song. She's jamming out. Attack successful. But it gets even worse. So now we are following our propagate everything protocol and Alice and Jing are propagating those transactions. But we'll notice that these two transaction histories are not the same even though the transactions got propagated. And so they these last transactions are invalid. Remember they're spending coins that were already spent. And so what does this mean? Well, this means that Alice thinks that she got paid and Jing thinks that she got paid and Bob so happens to think that Jing got paid. Well, they're never going to be able to reconcile their different opinions. And so what are we going to do? This is really bad. This is a partition of the network. 
and Mallory is hanging out, having fun with her jams. So it's this is really not good. So let's look at this transaction history. What's actually going on? Well, we start out with our initial state, and then we apply this first transaction, you know, sending money to Jing from Alice, and now sending money from Mallory to Alice. And then this transaction doesn't go through because, of course, Mallory has already spent all of her money. So we just say it's invalid. And so we end up with these final balances with Alice as 100. Now we do the same thing with Jing, subtracting and adding to the, our balance sheet. And here, the invalid transaction is Mallory sending to Alice. And so our final balances are going to be instead Alice having zero and Jing having an extra 100. And so they are out of sync and this is where our problem comes in. Now, why is this actually happening? Well, it's because we're ordering our transactions by the time each message was received. And that goes for both Jing and Alice. They receive a message and that's the order in which they apply it in their history. And so, of course, this is not going to work because Alice and Jing are on in different parts of the world. So they're going to receive transactions in a different ordering. It's impossible to get away from that. And if someone wants to manipulate it, they can try to double spend just like Mallory did. So next up, we're going to talk about latency based consensus. This is our first consensus protocol, and it's going to be based around the synchrony assumptions that we talked about in section 2.1. So looking forward to seeing you then and talk soon.